Okay, lesson 41, using formulas and the distributive property. So when we're using formulas, they will put variables into the formula. A variable is just a letter that can stand for any number in a formula. And one thing to remember with the variable is its value can vary. So here's a formula that you have been using. Area equals length times width. And we've been using that on parallelograms. Um, we can shorten it by just using the first letters of each word, so A equals L times W. Sometimes you'll see it written without the time symbol. That just still means to multiply the length and the width. You might see it with the little time sign, like a little X for times, and you might see it using parentheses. It all means times the length and the width, and you will get the area of your parallelogram. So for example, if we have a rectangle, here's the L, here's the W. So we're going to do an example. Find A when L equals 4 inches and W equals 3 inches. So to find the area, we're going to multiply our length and width. Since our length is 4 inches, we're going to multiply 4 inches and our width is 3 inches. We'll multiply those together and we get 12 inches squared for the area. Now another formula we have that we use a lot is perimeter. So if we have a rectangle, we can add the width and the length and the other width and the other length. So we're just adding up the sides all the way around. Sometimes you see it written as 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So in a rectangle, you're going to have two lengths and two widths that are the same. So you can multiply them together and then add. And, or we could add them together and then multiply by 2. So if you add the length and width and then multiply by 2, then you would get the whole perimeter. Yes? If it was a square, could you do the same parameter? If it gave your, if it gave you the parameter, by 4, yes. Or if you didn't know the perimeter, but they just had one side, you could do, for a square, you could do perimeter is four times that one side. Mm -hmm. Do you want to? Okay, so for square, area is actually just the side length squared. So you just have to multiply the side length by itself. And perimeter is four times the side length. And that's for a square, and that's because all the sides, the length and the width, are exactly the same, same length. So we have what's called the distributive property. The distributive property, it's always multiplying.
So if I have two teachers and R plus S students, we can take two times R plus two times S and it's going to be the same thing. So you do two times each term inside the parentheses. That's why it says it's always multiplying. So you multiply two times R plus you multiply two times S. So this is called the distributive property. It's actually, in this case, the distributive property of multiplication over addition. And if it were a minus sign in there, it would be the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Um, but we can just say distributive property. We don't have to write the whole entire long sentence for it. So if we put in some variables here, a times b plus c, or a times b minus c, we're going to distribute. And a lot of times you'll see me go like that. So we do a times b plus a times c. Or if there's a subtraction sign, it would be a times b minus a c. So here's an example. Three times, in parentheses, x plus 5. So we distribute the 3 over addition, and we do 3 times x plus, and then we're going to do 3 times 5, which is 15. So these two statements are equivalent. They mean the same thing. Here's another example. 2, and in parentheses, 7 plus r, and then outside the parentheses, plus 6. So we're going to multiply the 2 times each of these terms. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times r is just 2r. And then we add our 6 on the end. Because the 6 is not in the parentheses, we would not multiply it by 2. Then we would do 14 plus 6, because these are like terms. You want to add your like terms. So it's 20 plus 2r. And that's the end of the lesson.